At 6,400 square feet, this home comes complete with a gourmet kitchen, a safe room, and two dining rooms. A $2.2 million mansion in one of Atlanta's wealthiest suburbs. And it was all built to house one man, Archbishop Wilton Gregory. Now, three months after moving into the lavish home, a confession. I'm disappointed in myself. Archbishop Gregory now says he accepts the blame for not consulting his parish about the lavish expense. The millions needed to build the home came from a single generous donation. Joseph Mitchell, nephew of Gone with the Wind author Margaret Mitchell, left much of his estate to the Archdiocese, some $15 million. In addition to the $2 million spent on the home, seven and a half went to improvements on the cathedral. Less than $4 million went to charity. Others may say, oh, you should have given everything to charity. Well, that's not what Joe Mitchell said. He said cathedral, his parish charity, archdiocesan use, and I think I followed that carefully. Buonasera. The scandal comes amid pressure from the Pope, denouncing a culture of self-indulgence within the church. Last week, Pope Francis removed a German bishop after he spent more than $43 million on a new residence. Archbishop Gregory now says he hadn't thought about the home's cost to his own credibility. I hope it has a lasting effect on me. I hope the lasting effect is that, that I... Uh, make better use of consultation, uh, listen more. Gregory suspects the home will ultimately be sold. The millions put to use more in line with the church's mission. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press.